Well, welcome back everybody to another TFT ranked match. We got double Terex and one Leona. Nidari. Nidari 3 is actually good. Okay. Um, we got Ez and Leona now. So we also bought the Karma last round. Alright, we got Bo, we got Yone. Let's buy the Twitch. Mirage bonus is Pirate's Greed. Heroic Presence Exile Cybernetic Uplink 2. For the first augment, let's go for Cybernetic Uplink 2. This one is pretty good. Alright, uh, we are hitting on... We're sitting on a bunch of pairs right now. I'm going to just bring in a... Uh, let's bring in Yone for the Pirate's Greed. We can make some money. All we can do is Titan's Resolve or Cavalier Emblem. Definitely not a Rage Wing, so... We're gonna chill out here. I didn't level up because we have a lot of pairs of one cost, right? So we're sitting on three pairs. Next round, we can get a better chance of hitting two star Karma Ez and maybe Leona all at the same time. And that is kind of what I want to do here. So we did not pre level or fast level the four. All right, we got two star Leona. Boom. And this round, we're just probably gonna level up because we're gonna be level four next round. Uh, yeah, so let's level up here. I will bring in a Twitch now. Oh, spat. Oh, oh, oh. Damn it. I got it. Thank you, baby. So we have another spat with a spat. By the way, everybody in this lobby started with a spatula. That's why people wanted to grab this for the force of nature. Um, and this round, we still stuck. On uh, nothing. Literally, not much I can do. Let's go to Ez. Oh, Dragon Mancer Elise. Hello? Yo, that's also a two star. Well, oh, that's a one star Elise. But yeah, I, I think Dragon Mancer Elise is actually one of those obscure comps that do work. Um, He's probably going to transition though. Or maybe not. He has Beast then. Dragon Mancer Elise is actually very strong because she has too much health. Uh, and her spider bites can one-shot dudes. We got two-star set. Okay, let's bring him in, boys. Two-star set in the house. Um, one thing I haven't been doing this game is uh, slamming this stuff, by the ways. And the reason why is because I wanted to actually lose. I wanted to go on a lost streak. So I didn't actually uh, slam this, but this guy's team is so strong to the point where I know even if I slam something, I'm going to lose. So we're going to take that L and go on a fifth round loss streak and we sell one as I'm just making uh, maximum econ right now. Oh, that job. Unfortunately, the Mirage bonus is kind of bad, but it's good for the early game where you can make money. So we'll take advantage of that pirate's greed here. We'll drop the Yone because we don't need 5 Mirage. So, I imagine this game to be like a fast level 8, fast level 7 game rolled down. That's what I'm expecting. So, when we do that, that means we're going to be losing a lot. Right? Uh, so, I'm just going to make 40 gold this round. Let's bring in Nunu. Unfortunately, we sold the Yone. Because I didn't think I would actually hit a Nunu right now and get 6 Mirage. Um, but we're going to build Static Shiv. <clears throat> slam the Negatron and Nunu. I'm going to slam some items now because uh, we don't need to be losing any more health. We're at 66 health points. That's a lot of health lost. But it's really unfortunate I couldn't get my 6 Mirage here with the Yone that I sold to make Econ. As uh, I'm keeping Karma because I was thinking about 3 Jade. 3 Jade is still possible. But 6 Mirage would be nice to make a little bit more money with the Captain's Chest. We're at Lieutenant's Chest right now. So it's going to be a little bit more than 2 Mirage. Good. So let's go ahead and pick up the next Dogman. Oh, did I get a Dragon thing? Dragon Horde. Should I play Dragons this game? I guess I am. I, I hope this is a day job. Okay, I guess it's not bad actually. Uh, let's go level 6. Wait, Idis is actually pretty good here because uh, uh, Idis will definitely give us an item here. De Determined Investor, that's not bad. That is not bad at all. Okay, so we're going to slam this onto the Nunu because we want 
We want this guy to die. When you have the Termin Investor, you need to kill your guy seven times. If you put in an Idas, Idas actually might not die. Especially with the Guardian Shield. So putting on Nunu, putting it on Nunu ensures that Nunu will be sacked off. And uh, we want to get that item as soon as possible because if you're playing Dragon Horde, Dragon Alliance, you're going to be playing Idas for sure. So you will be using Diamond Hands for the whole game. The only issue is we we are at 66 health, so we got to be a little bit careful here. But I think the Day Jaw is going to clear this out for 9,000 damage. That is absolutely amazing. And we got Yone. So we do have six uh, six now once again. So let's bring the Yone, drop the Tarek. I will still keep him for now. There we go. So we got six Mirage now, which is the Captain's Chest. I should be able to go to level 7 next round. I'm going to put some points into level. Once again, we're counting down on that Determined Investor to show up as soon as possible. Sack off that Nunu. So he died twice now. He has to die five more times. By the way, Static Shiv on Deja is really good. So if you have this item, you can slam it on him to help you win more as he really loves doing additional AP damage. Getting that additional shred is really nice. And then we'll try to pull off a full Dragon Comp this game with Deja Ida's Siphon. Next item is going to be Large Rod. It looks like I will be itemizing the Deja this game. And now it's time to collect our... Six chest. Oh, you get item component at six. That's so nice. Let's level up to seven. And what I can do this round is I am going to actually just bring in uh, Orn and make 50 gold. Yep, this looks like a fast eight game to me right now. And uh, yeah, at six Mirage, you can get some items. So. It's really nice to get that. Now he swapped. This guy's playing Dragomancer Nunu. Wow. So we have a Dragomancer release and we have a Dragomancer Nunu this game. Really interesting to see two people go for Dragomancer emblems at the same time. Normally I don't see that too much. Do the chests give different loot based on the Mirage level? Yes. So at 2 and 4, you just get gold. And then from 6, you get items. Or you have a chance to get items. You don't always get items every round, of course. Oh, future site player, he missed. Yeah, I moved my day job last second. Haha. <laughs> yeah, against these future site players, you gotta move your guys around every now and then. Uh, he does have one siphon. Siphon is always contested. We already know that. But the goal is Shioyu as well. Actually, yeah, to be honest, in this build, if you can get Shioyu, that's awesome. Any, any of these dragons can work. Like, day job will work as well. It's kind of like, I guess, about... It's all about who you hit first. Aurelian Soul, Aoshin, and Shivana is actually not so good right now. And we're making lots of money. So this round, you're going to put Nunu on the bottom. Or actually, uh, hold on. Actually, I'm going to give this to Yone, because Yone is a lot weaker. So you know, Yone will die first. Best in slot for Siphon is at your mom's house. So we got Talon, Hecaro. Boom. Giant Belt. Lulu. Oh, uh, okay. Let's go to eight. So we're gonna roll down. This is a fast eight game, like I was saying. You don't want the large rod on that. Oh, hello, Siphon. Hello. I got two star orn. I really want to put this in. I think right now it's fine. Um, I should have put an S. Yeah, I should have put an S. My bad. My bad. Okay, let's go Sunfire Cape. This is quick combo. Yeah, I think it's quick combo. It's IE and Jewel Gauntlet on Deja here. Because he's really good with crit, I'm pretty sure. A lot of people playing Deja with crit right now. Uh, so that's what we're gonna do, and it's the Dragon Master release. Is that going to take out the Deja? Yes. Oh, good. Last dogman is going to be 
Mirage Crest. No, we actually don't need Mirage for sure. I mean, it's a money maker. We second wind is really good here because you're playing dragons. Dragons have a lot of health. Um. Hmm. Not hitting anything. All right, we go. I think we might have to sell the Orn. Actually, thinking about it, I don't have. I don't think I have spot for Orn. So we brought in Ez for Tempus bonus. Oh, okay, DN is these nuts. Ah, oh, man. People, <laughs> people going around Twitch right now, saying put DN on your champion. I get it now. Okay, so we got Diamond Hands. We got Diamond Hands and a Nico. This is gonna really help. I won't give Diamond Hands to my she uh my dude. All right, so this round we gotta really hit everything. And I mean it. Okay, so we're gonna drop everybody uh, that's not a dragon. So we only have a spot for this. This is the full build. This is literally the full build. And then, uh, we probably just Nico the Itis. So, yeah, we got four dragons, four whispers. We're done, baby. Diamond Hands, give it to Siphon. Uh, you, uh, your Idis definitely does not need it. It's probably Gargoyle. Gargoyle is always better than Bramble Vest as a tank item. And again, I'll probably give him uh, IE. Or I'll do IE on Siphon. IE on Siphon is also good. I think Siphon needs one damage item for sure. So we're doing like a Siphon and Dayjaw carry. Oh man, okay. So next item is gonna be Spatula is Assassin. Oh my god. Wait, you gotta take Spat here because you got Pike. First time here, win this shit. I will win for you, my boy. I will win for you. Okay, so this is Assassin Emblem. You have to do Assassin Siphon. If you have a Pike, right? Now you got two Assassin bonus. Okay, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm actually going to do this because there's a guy with Future Sight. I should be giving all the items right now for Cybernetic. So I guess she'll use the only one he where he won't do anything. Oh, God. Oh, this guy had a Zephyr. Oh, that messed me up. But it's okay. I'll still win this. He bypassed the uh, Idas because he's Zephyr the front line. But she'll use the least important champion in this build because he's the only one who's a one star. So whoever your two star dragons are, you itemize your two star dragons first and then... The other one just goes last. We'll switch to Pike and Idis. We're not going to itemize Pike yet. The Chain Vest, I'm saving it for... It might be for Idis. It might be for... You want to itemize all the dragons first. Don't worry about Pike. You know, Pike is only really good at a 2-star. So, itemize all your dragons first. All your important guys first. Uh, this guy is Dragon Master Nunu. I cannot believe he's actually doing 3-star Dragon Master Nunu. I did see this build once, but um, I don't know how good it is. Okay, we got Giant Slur, Sword, Sword. Wait, that's pretty good. I think I'm just taking this one. This is actually really good for this comp. Yeah, I'm taking this one. We show, and then now it can fully itemize everybody. It's probably Edge of Night. Okay, first of all, Edge of Night and Siphon is very unnecessary. Here, he has Diamond Hands. Um, Giant Slayer will go on to Siphon for maximum damage. And then you can just put Sword on Pike. You're done. Let's do that swap again. Last second. Beware of the future side players. Okay. Always keep swapping your guys. See, this guy's playing future side. He might have hit somebody. Oh, yeah. He knows he... I think he was watching me. He was probably rotating really quick. Uh, he has two Assassin Emblems. But it's a one-star Siphon, two-star Elise. I'm pretty sure I beat this. Like, I got Diamond Hands, so my Siphon is actually invulnerable twice. And Dragon Horde is really strong. You get 15 attack damage ability power for all your dragons. Super good. Alright, do the swap again. I think this is a possible first right now. I am finally bringing you guys how to play dragons in ranked. Okay? I never actually made a video with... Four dragons yet. 
on my channel. So if I win this, y'all are seeing on YouTube tonight. Everybody playing Siphon, of course. That's why I rolled down really fast this game to my dragons before everybody else. Uh, this guy's team is pretty good, actually, but... That Siphon took way too long to die. We have Edge of Night as well for the Deja. Very good. We got some money again. I could actually level up here. Yeah. Let's go level 9. Because you could always die. We have another Siphon in the shop, but this is too Bruiser. You do not need Shivana in this build. Okay, don't go for Shivana. The thing about Shivana is that she really doesn't do anything for your team. So yeah, you could be like, oh, you could actually play five dragons here, but it's not very wise. Because then you're going to lose a, a four Whispers, and then you're going to lose an extra bonus. So the best champion to put in at level 9 here is Bard. Because Bard is going to get you Mystic, and he will give you the Bard bonus. The Bard bonus is going to allow your champions to cast more with the Mono Regen. Uh, which makes him the excellent best candidate for level 9 here. The Swain 2 actually is beating a whole Dragon Comp. Oh my god. So we got Spear of Shojin from the Carousel. Aoshin. I think Aoshin is actually worth putting in. Uh, but, again the issue is... I don't think... I could put an Aoshin instead of Shioyu, but then you lose the Jade. Hmm. Do I want to lose Jade? Okay, let's try losing the Jade. Uh, we'll try the Tempest, okay? This could be better. We're not gonna give this guy Cybernetic Uplink, it's fine. If I lose this round, I don't think I will. This guy's team is definitely worse than mine, I'm pretty sure. Uh, I'll bring back the Shioyu if, if Aoshin doesn't work. But yeah, there's no way this guy beats me anyways. It's the guy playing. He has two-star Siphon, Dragon Master release. He didn't hit three-star release, so easy win. I think Aoshin is fine. Orn. I think it's Aoshin and Orn. Oh yeah, this is probably the best, because you get four Tempest and two Bruisers now, right? This is probably the best uh, version of this comp. This looks very strong. East looks very strong. No Aoshin, though. Okay. Alright, we go. Uh, let's give this to Orn. Everybody needs the bonus. Aha, you missed your Zephyr. There's Zephyr players. Gotta keep moving your guys around. Can the statue get Zephyr? Anything on the map can be Zephyr. Anything. Target dummies. Anything that's alive. Well, not alive, I guess. Anything that's standing can get Zephyr. So I guess my biggest problem is that Swain 2 guy. For some reason that Swain 2 player, I think he had, because of his Scorch ability, he was doing a lot of true damage, and that's really good against dragons. So I think maybe that Scorch Augment is really what messed me up. I'm really loving the Dragon Alliance comp. We definitely top 4 with this. This is one of the best comps you can play in ranked. So if you do get this Augment or you get Dragon Alliance, I highly recommend you try this out. Get these 4 dragons. Don't worry about Shivana and whatever. Ocean is the best 10 cost if you want a 10 cost here. You can play Shioyu too, <clears throat> but if you get Siphon 2 first, then you're playing Siphon 2. Uh, we can definitely keep the Deja, because Deja is doing a lot of damage. And we just need 2 star Ocean, who is not coming out ever. Alright, here we go. Let's do this. So we got Frozen Heart. Excellent on Pike, so give that to him. Oh, three star birdie. Oh yeah, this is a good comp. He has Shoyu two three star bird. But I think the Diamond Hand uh, Siphon didn't go for the bird. Okay, Aoshin needs more damage. Aoshin needs to be a two. The Diamond Hand's really helping out the Siphon survive, so that's gonna be a win. Very close. Deja and Siphon doing a lot of damage right now. Alright. Keep okay, rolling. Two star pike. Excellent. Excellente. So we got two star pike. There's a guy with two Zephyrs. There's a guy with two Zephyrs in this lobby. Oh, Lee Sin 3 and Swain 3? Jesus Christ. 
Oh my god. No, he didn't hit Swain 3. He hit Lee Sen 3, though. This is the guy I lost to. He didn't have a Lee Sen 3 before. Okay, I destroyed him now. Oh, that was easy. Oh, that was easy. Lee Sen 3 does not matter at all. It's just Swain. He had a Scorch. Okay, it's still not easy. He almost beat me. That Scorch? This is really good. Okay. There's a guy in this lobby with two Zephyrs. It's really annoying. There's actually a guy with two Zephyrs in this lobby. This guy. Yeah, I don't think we can dodge both of them. Yeah, so two guys will... This is so bad. Actually, the Zephyrs against my comp is so bad. He also has a Fawn. He has a big-ass team. I feel like my team is better, though. This guy's team looks worse than the 3-star Nivea. Even though he has, like, a big team. Okay, wait. That Shiyu is taking a long time to die, but Diamond Hand Siphon. Tanking like a beast. Deja, a monster from the back line. Loving the Deja Siphon duo here. Clean win, and I think he's going to survive. Oh, he's dead. Yay! Alright, easy. Just need one more Aoshin. We need to get uh, Archangel Staff here, probably. Or the Aoshin item. Or Zephyr. Oh my god, I hate Zephyrs. Another Gargoyle. I think... We need to get... Uh, it's probably Ionic Spark, because Morello is nice, but I don't think I need Morello. So why? Because I have a Sunfire Cape. Um, hey, we hit. Ionic Spark is just really good. Okay. So we'll go Ionic Spark on Pike. Ionic Spark is a damage item, it's not really a tank item. So Pike can jump to the back. He missed a Zephyr. Haha. <laughs> uh, I should beat this. I beat him last time. I'm pretty sure I got a 2 star Ocean that counts. 3 star Anivia is good. But, uh, yeah, he's gonna fall down. Nice. Okay, he's not dead yet, though. There's just two Jade players right now. No, it's the Swain player again. Never mind. Train player. So this is the next guy. It's the Lee Sin 3 player. Right? I'll just do this. He has Lee Sin, so I don't want him to kick the... Kick this. Hopefully he kicks the Orn. Okay, he's, he went for Siphon this time. Uh, I put my Deja far away. This guy, we beat him really easily last round. So this should be easy. Especially with 2-star Aurelian Soul, we have so much more damage now. He's dead. Yep, Swain 3 can only go so far. I mean Swain 2, but the Swain guy beats the Anivia 3 player. Uh, nope, never mind. <laughs> Spoke too soon. I think this is a first. You guys can see the strength, the power of the Dragon Horde. Dragon Horde, Dragon Alliance, whatever you guys want to call it. Super strong, super fun to play. Love this augment. By the way, so love this augment. Um, I will probably just roll down for whatever here. There we go. Move my guys around because this guy has his effort. Oh. He missed again. No, he hit the pike. That's kind of bad. It's fine. He didn't hit my dragons. As long as the Zephyrs don't land on the Idas or something, we're good. I wanted it to go on to Orn, of course. Ah, uh, this guy's- it's done. GG. <laughs> so there you guys go, that's it! Do this in ranked, you can clap the 3-star Anivias, you can clap them Swains. Okay, wait a minute. Okay, we're good. <laughs> I'm telling you, man, this comp is broken. 8 win streak, Dragons rule this ranked meta right now. Super fun, indeed set 7 is the land of Dragons. Definitely play this build and win your games.